cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding. Peace is not just an absence of God, but it's an intention, an action, and above all, a lifestyle. Good morning and a very warm welcome to respected Sarka ma'am, Manveer ma'am, all the worthy teachers and my lovely children present here. Each year, people around the globe observe the International Day of Peace on 21st September. This day was established in 1981 by United Nations General Assembly to mark out it as a day of non-violence and it is also called as a day of ceasefire. For people from different lands and colors, cultures, the definition of this noble word peace varies. But it simply means acceptance, harmony, absence of hostility and respecting each other's point of view. Now, let's dive into the heart of today's assembly with the students of class 2A. I invite a sleep on the stage to begin the assembly. The day, the power of love, overrules the love of power. The world will know the peace. Good morning everyone. On behalf of class second day, I welcome our respected principal ma'am, our head of junior wing, Sarika ma'am, and our coordinator, Manmi ma'am. All the worthy teachers and my fellow students to our assembly on peace and non-violence.
become the international sign of peace, which means that instead of war, war or fight, war or fight, we want war with the war or fight, we want peace. Jandi, the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi. He was the leader of the Indian independence movement and pioneer of the philosophy and strategy of non-violence.
thing, but holding hands of your friend it gives you peace.
Thank you. 